Hi everyone, good morning, good morning. 8.42 Monday, checking in with all of you. We'll give it a little more time for people to check in right here. Hey, I hope all of you had a wonderful weekend. Hi, Tom, good morning to you. Uh, it was chilly this weekend, definitely felt like fall, and oddly enough, it was the last full weekend of summer. Tomorrow we officially welcome fall. I'm pretty vocal about how I feel about that. How do you feel about it? <laughs> I'm not that excited. I'm definitely a summer lover, but I guess it's out of my control. So chilly start to the day as well. If you have not been outside yet, definitely prepare to bring <laughs> a, uh, a jacket. Someone's asking, I actually just got into the computer about 10 minutes ago. So I finally, yes, have a computer. That's some good news. Check back in tomorrow because oddly enough, something is happening on every computer for my login in, in the building. So we'll see. All right, let's talk about what we're going to be covering on Good Morning Connecticut at 9. Laura has this week off, so it's just going to be me and Gil. Still going to be great. We hope you join us. Uh, let's talk about some coronavirus numbers. So... Um, we are expecting more numbers to be, or the latest numbers to be released today, but let's talk about the numbers that we had as of Thursday. 1% of tests coming back positive, 141 new cases, and sadly, four uh, new deaths. Two more people have been hospitalized as well in Connecticut with the virus. Those are our new numbers, and there's new numbers and more cases popping up in school districts as well, all around Connecticut. Waterbury is really seeing um, at least seven students test positive, and that's a mix between in-person, in-classroom uh, students and distance learning students as well. Eva Zamaris has been talking about that. She's going to take a closer look for you at the 9 o'clock show, and she'll explain more. And Susie Hunter has been talking about the COVID cases at UConn, another dorm building there under quarantine after positive cases. How is the university handling it? How are the students handling that? She's going to tell you about that. It's Monday, so yes, it's the start of a new week, but it's also the start of a new statewide mandate, and that is for children. So any child that is three years old or older now has to wear a face mask at a daycare. I told you this on Friday. We talked a little bit about it, uh, but it does go into effect as of today. There are ex exceptions like uh, a documented medical condition or uh, if your child is special needs. So there are some exceptions to the rule and then kids do not have to wear the masks while they are eating, sleeping, or resting. And it's also said that there will be mask breaks planned throughout the day as well. Sorry, I'm just trying to scroll through my comments right here for some reason. I'm missing some of you. Good morning, good morning. All right, thanks so much for checking in. We have a lot of you on here right now. Appreciate that. Okay, um, obviously, um, the state, the country, is uh, mourning the loss of the Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She passed away Friday night. Um, she was 87 years old after a long battle with pancreatic cancer, and a lot of people are remembering her. There's going to be a vigil tonight in Guilford. There was one over the weekend in Stanford, so we'll have some of that information for you as well. Um, a lot of people calling her a trailblazer, and um, she's definitely did a lot for a lot of people so talking about rbg and her legacy as well all right it's 8 46 right now i have to get in to the studio a little earlier because it's just me hutch has the week off and i hope you join us um let's see who's checking in oh yes nick great question i reminded you guys that my friend uh my friend and i were going wedding dress shopping for her wedding, which is a year from now. She did find a gown on Friday. It's absolutely beautiful. It was so exciting. She looks stunning. I can't give you any clues as to what it looks like, but I can tell you she found the perfect dress. Hi, Tori. Good morning. Thanks for checking in. All right, guys, I'm going to head on over to um, 
the studio right now and we hope that you join us on Good Morning Connecticut at 9. I hope you have a wonderful Monday and I will see you later. Bye.